some of you in this room may or may not have tattoos. If uh, Jermaine Dupree's here, we know he does. Some of the other startups here, like Danny, they have tattoos. Well, I have tattoos, and so do 45 million other Americans. My name's Gene, and I'm the founder of Inked. Inked is a cloud-based social scheduling platform for tattoo shops and tattoo artists. We're solving a major problem for tattoo artists, which is no-shows. Costing the industry as a whole $300 million, but if we get more personal with it, a typical tattoo costs from $200 to $300, so a tattoo artist could be losing up to $600 a day from a no-show, which really affects the local tattoo artist. Our simple, easy-to-use mobile scheduling platform connects tattoo artists with their clients easily. We utilize SMS text reminders for clients to confirm, cancel, or reschedule appointments. Uh, this gives an impersonal approach to notify the tattoo artist and gives them a heads up that someone's not gonna show up as opposed to just you know, not showing. Um, we also have the look and feel of the tattoo industry. We uh, sat with tattoo artists and tattoo shops and we gave them features that they want and need like social sharing uh, to help with self-promotion. So here's a quick look at our fast traction to date. Uh, just six months ago, this was just an idea at a startup weekend. Uh, we leveraged connections that we made there to partner with Thinktive, a commercial accelerator. Uh, we then launched in less than five months at a major industry convention, the Steel City Tattoo Convention. And since then, we've signed up 18 locations and booked 200 appointments through it. And we also partnered with a major uh, nationally recognized tattoo artist, Chris Torres of New York, Inc. Uh, who is opening up a tattoo shop in December called Red Legged Devil Tattoo. They're going to be using Inked, and we're going to be able to cross-promote together. And now we're here in Vegas. So who's the team behind Inked? Patrick, who's in your far left on the picture, um, he's here today. He has a bachelor's in finance, uh, MBA in information systems management. He's also an entrepreneur himself um, in the real estate industry. Uh, Dave, who's on the far right, He's here too. He has 15 years experience getting tattoos. Uh, he, has a lot of, <laughs> he has a lot of friends and connections in industry, so we've been able to work closely with them and help develop the product. Uh, Sean Sikora, he's our technical co-founder. He's not here today. Um, he's standing behind Patrick. He has a computer engineering degree. He has 15 years professional experience. He has experience uh, with building other startup products. Um, he's also an entrepreneur himself with his own software development company. And then myself, um, I have a computer science degree. I've been working for 10 years in the internet marketing and market research industries. Um, and I also have experience getting tattoos as a client. Uh, so we've been able to use these connections in the industry to help solve this problem. We noticed that they were always posting on social media and Facebook and Twitter hey, somebody didn't show up today, who wants this slot? Well, it's only in 10 minutes or in an hour. That's a lot for someone to make that decision to put a permanent mark on their body. So by us giving them the heads up, it gives them at least a day or two, depending on how they set it up, to fill that time slot. Um, so we've also partnered with some other major artists in the industry where we're trying to build a product advisory board to help further the um, you know, the further the product and uh, gain more marketing from that. So with our technical experience coupled with our experience in the tattoo industry, we feel that we're the perfect team to solve this problem. Um, there's also more recently government regulations that just started this past month. Instead of them trying to solve the bigger problems that they should, they're going to start treating tattoos like guns and put a 24-hour waiting period on a tattoo. So with that, if that legislation goes through, our product is already in place to help them with their increased scheduling demands. Um, so after today's event, we're going to go out to Vegas and hit up all the tattoo shops here and help them get inked too. Thank you. So what, um, why, just, why just tattoo shops? Is, um, is there some cross-industry applications with what you're doing? There is. Uh, we, we wanted to focus on the tattoo industry first because there's a lack of te current technologies being utilized by them. They're still old school using pen and paper calendars. Um, and 
it's an industry that you know some of us are just passionate about. It's creative. It's a fun environment. We go to tattoo conventions. It's like, you know, it's a it's a community. We we just like being involved with it. Yeah. So that's something that we wanted to focus on that industry where we could help them. Now there are other verticals we can take this into. Um, so we formed this under a corporate name, No Show Inc. Um, so we're going at, at, after tattoos first, but we have some others in mind that are appointment based. Yeah, but why aren't they? Why aren't they using other booking systems? Because there are a ton of them out there. Yeah. Like there's Mind Body, like My Yoga Studios. Yeah. Mind, like there's tons yeah. of them. So why don't they use those? Those are either generic or they're not focused on the industry. So what we've done is we incorporate like an online gallery where they can tie straight to the appointment a picture of the tattoo, and then they can share that socially to Facebook, which then helps cross promotion and gets them more clients instant. Usually a tattoo artist does that anyways, it just might take them longer. Like he'll, he'll post a tattoo that he did later that day. So using our system straight from the appointment, he takes a picture and. So more than it. scheduling then, it's also helping them build their personal brand as, the, or as an artist. Is that, is that safe to say? Yeah, definitely. So on top of that, we're also going to hopefully incorporate um, our version two, like a client login. So someone can log in and then search for that tattoo artist or tattoo shop where they can view the gallery, request an appointment. They won't be able to necessarily see their schedule, but they can request an appointment. So that's another way for artists to build their clientele. I mean, when I saw you guys outside, I mean, I was, I was actually, I was pretty excited. I was like, this is great because I've spent like, you know, at least a year trying to find an artist I like to get. I want a couple new pieces that I want to get, frankly. Right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I got my nice clothes on today. But uh, I have a tattoo for you for your leave. <laughs> So, well, you know, it's a certain style. But, and that's the point, discovery is really, really hard in tattoos. Mm -hmm. So you can go to Pinterest and look at, you know, things people post, you can go to Facebook and look at things, but there's no way for me to basically go shopping for an artist. I mean, I can shop for any kind of art online, mm -hmm. except tattoos. Right. So the idea of being able to discover, you know, someone I'm gonna have this personal relationship with who's gonna design something mm -hmm. for me, you know, how do you guys get to that side? Because it seems to me that's a ton of value yep. for these so artists. So if we can incorporate like social tagging too, so we already have it so they can post to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram soon. Um, so we're gonna incorporate tags. So then when the, someone logs in and looks for that shop or artist, they can also search on a tag. So then that would narrow down the search to say you want an Asian style tattoo. Yeah, I got some sites I want you to go look at. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, where are you guys in the funding process? Right now we're just bootstrapped. Um, we're hoping to probably start raising around in the next like couple months. We've had some interest, so we want to kind of build a sales force around this industry and go and go into that and maybe some further development. Debbie, Debbie, four Debbie. people. Oh, it's just four, four people right now, and then we partnered with Thinktiv, um, so we've been able to utilize some of their resources. Um, but yeah, just four-person team right now. How much do you think you need to build that sales force? Um, we have some figures. I would love to talk about it after here. Um, so I, I have some figures laid out, but you know. Not fully flushed out the plan yet, or is it, is it fully flushed out? It, I wouldn't say it's fully flushed, but we have an overall target that we would, you know, I'd love to discuss with anybody after here. Now, where are you guys based? Pittsburgh, PA. Pittsburgh. Um, and this is, uh, I know we were sitting up here before going, we wish we could give feedback to people. So I have to give you this feedback. I tried to enter your website name like five times by looking at your t-shirt and I just could not read that. So I just, for mm, what the it's logo, worth. The logo is actually designed by a tattoo artist. It's beautiful, but so, you can't tell what the URL is. Right, yeah. <laughs> we, we actually had that feedback. So I think in future branding, we might put it in like a, a type font underneath the logo. But yeah, it was designed by a tattoo artist. Good, good job. Thank you, appreciate it.